beautiful you are. Aren't well, you thank wonderful? You. It's nice to see you. Oh, it's nice to see yeah. you. Mm. <laughs> Someone had a hot dog, didn't they? Lots of mustard. Sometimes you can wash your hands after uh, holding wieners. <laughs> would you like one of these? I would love a donut. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some of mine? No, I like to wash my face like a cat, but the rest of my body I clean like a dog. <laughs> so, so please welcome the best anti-corruption tension reliever of them all, the Honorable Kathleen Madigan. Thank you, Chicago people. Wow, you guys are all out. I am originally from uh, St. Louis. Yeah. yeah, thank you, sir. One guy, I'll take it. My parents still live there. Well, actually, they moved three hours away to a lake. So if I fly home, they'll volunteer to come and pick me up at the airport. And that sounds really nice on paper. But at this age, to spend three to four hours in the back seat of your parents' car? No, just they're fighting. And I can't believe they're serious, and they are. My mom turned around over Easter, and she goes, I am so pissed off at your father, because he will not wear his teeth when we golf. <laughs> really, is this what gets you angry? I'm like, Dad, why won't you wear the teeth? I don't like them, they don't fit right, they're too tight. What's the damn difference if nobody's taking our damn picture? <laughs> they're funny, but they don't know why. Like, they came to California, and my mom goes, we want to go to Venice Beach, and there's a big boardwalk there. People rollerblade, bike ride, whatever. We're sitting outside eating lunch. Two lesbians walk by holding hands. My mom says quite loudly, you know, when I see women holding hands, I don't know if they're lesbians or if just one of the ladies is blind. <laughs> what? Oh. Well, why don't we throw some quarters at them, Mom, and if they catch them... My dad was a lawyer for a long time. He did get pulled over for a DUI, though, my dad, like two months ago, but he hadn't been drinking. And he goes, this young cop tells me to get out of the car, and then he tells me to walk an imaginary line between my car and his car, and I said, all right, and then I just stood there. <laughs> and I go, then what, Dad? He goes, well, then the cop goes, are you gonna start? And I said, well, do you have your line in your head? The cop is like, what? He goes, well, you told me to make up an imaginary line, and I have, but only I can see it because it's in my damn imagination. And I'm sure you got a line, but I can't see yours, and you can't see mine, so I'm going to stand here until someone smarter arrives. How about that? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. And then my little brother called, and he goes, hey, I just left golf. I think I saw Dad on the side of the road getting the drunk test. I go, and you didn't stop, Pat? He's 68. He goes, no, here's the beauty of it. I'm hammered. I flew right by that cop. I, we got to take them all that's out, like decoys. We My dad's an old school Irish Catholic Democrat. Think Ted Kennedy, right? But he really didn't like Hillary. And in the beginning, I was on the Hillary train, right? And he's like, why would you support that woman? I go, I don't know. I just think she has more experience than Obama. Based on what? I don't know. She lived in the White House for eight years. Well, your mother's lived in this house for 40. Do you think she's an attorney? Do you? <laughs> okay. Okay, funny pants. He'll never tire of that either. Like three weeks ago, I had to hire a plumber. Maybe his wife will come over and fix your damn toilet for you, can't wait. Sure she's ridden in the van and seen the equipment. <sighs> I voted for Obama, but I wasn't as excited as like my little sister, but she's 10 years younger than me. You know, she's, she's not as cynical. She's like, oh, oh, Kathleen, he's full of hope and change and hope and change. Oh, Don't you have any hope left? I'm like, let me check, Kate. No. <laughs> no, I don't. I lost hope for this country when we took the pillows out of coach on American Airlines. If we can't afford a five-cent foam piece of crap so my neck doesn't break on a six-hour flight, I think we're done. I think it's time to get your Rosetta Stone and learn a little Chinese before they get here, because there is a billion of them. And I saw the opening ceremonies of the Olympics. They are organized. I... 
I do not think it is going to be that hard to throw our fat asses off of couches watching Sports Center. We're not even going to know what happened. There's just going to be a Chinese family in the family room <laughs> looking at us going, you go home now. Well, I, I am home. No, not anymore. We bought your house while you watched the Raker game. <laughs> All right, you guys, I got to go. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the show. See you in Chicago.